Hello, Don of Faith viewers. Welcome today to our today's episode. Today we are going to look into the parable of the hidden treasure. If you are new here, Karibu Sana, if you've been tuning in since our first episode, we want to thank you very much. If you joined us along the way, also thank you and may you share this with your family, your friends, so that they can be blessed just the way you are blessed daily. Now today, uh, a parable comes from the book of Matthew, the chapter is 13 and the verse is 44. But before we go into it, I would like us to pray. Dear Jesus, help us to understand this parable and may it impact us and bring us closer to you. For in Jesus' name I do pray and believe. Amen. So the parable of Matthew 13 verse 44 reads, Again the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in a field, the which when a man had found, he hid it, and for joy therefore, goeth and selleth all that he hath and buyeth the field. Now, so this parable is giving a setting of the ancient times. Now during ancient times, people used to hide their treasures for various reasons. Number one, we used to have like a lot of regime changes. There were wars and, and, and often you'll find that maybe you got wealth in a, diff uh, in a different monarchy and then a different monarchy comes into play. So to avoid taxation and to avoid people taking your treasures violently, so you would hide them in a particular field or in, in, in whatever places. And now, uh, so this parable is in the setting that uh, you hid your treasure and maybe for some calamity, the owner of the treasure has perished. And now somebody comes and plows the land. Upon plowing the land, they then found a cache of treasure, maybe gold, silver, all manner of those things. Like for instance, a hundred old uh, year garden, you find treasures. So now what this man does, he goes, sells all that he has, and then he buys that field. After buying that field, when, when he's doing that, the neighbors, the friends are going to take him as to see if he's weird or he's just doing, uh, getting things that doesn't have any value. But now this man knows what the value that this field has. So what he, he comes and buys the land and then uh, gets the treasure. Now the field in this particular parable is the word of God. And, and this parable is telling us what manner of efforts that one should do in order to secure this treasure. Now, this, the word of God contains contain so many treasures. And in them, the biggest of all treasure is eternal life and a life with your creator. Now, I'm sure if some of us we have family members with different diseases. Some have cancer, some have HIV and AIDS and all those manner of diseases. Now imagine that a particular hospital is offering a cure for cancer. I'm sure we are going to sell all the earthly possessions that we have in order to secure uh, the cure for that particular disease. And imagine you get a cure for cancer, it's just going to add you maybe, at, at most you live at 100 years. But now in the Bible, it's giving us eternal life. You can imagine a, a million years of peace, a million years of tranquility, a million years of happiness and being able to achieve all that you have desired. How much more should we plow this treasure? So friends, this particular parable is telling us that we need to study our scriptures. We need to plow this treasure because in them we get eternal life. And so today, brothers and sisters, I want to urge you to study your scriptures. Study them from Genesis to Revelation and you'll find what God has intended for you and me. And so as we continue, Looking into this parable in our next episodes, I want to encourage you, if you're not reading the scriptures, dear friends, this parable should encourage you that in them is life eternal. 
And so let's feel encouraged, let's study our scripture diligently. And look, let's look forward to what Christ Jesus giving us our eternal reward. And may God bless you. See you again in our next episode. Thank you.